Hi, I'm Carl from Bryce's Alarms Tech Support. Today we're going to be walking through retrieving video footage from a True Vision NVR. We're going to do that remotely from a PC. Let's get to that. Okay, we're uh, connecting to the NVR through the web page uh, interface. Uh, first thing we're going to do is log into the NVR. Um, and you have to use Internet Explorer whenever you're remote viewing um, to a True Vision NVR. It is possible to use uh, Mozilla Firefox, but we've often encountered some difficulties around that where they keep changing the, uh, uh, their permissions and, and it won't then operate uh, through the ActiveX controls, which allow you to, um, to interface with the web portal on the NVR. So we're gonna go right ahead here. We're gonna log in uh, to the NVR uh, through the web page. And first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that you know where the files are going to be saved. And we're going to go over here and we're going to click on configuration. And on the left side here, you're going to see browser configuration. You want to click on that. And you're going to see here where it shows where it saves the video uh, folders. And particularly what we're interested in right now, we're going to be retrieving a video clip of a small red safe being taken uh, from, the, from yesterday. Uh, and that's going to be the period of interest that we're after. Now any of the clips that we take are going to be stored right in this directory right here and that's you want to make a note of. Uh, you can change the directory that it's stored in. Uh, for the moment we're just going to leave it at where its default point is but it's uh, important to verify or, and to know where those files are going to be saved when we capture them. We're going to go over to playback and from here we're going to need to um, select the date which we can from over here on the right side which was the day before so we're going to select the 24th and we're going to select search right along here in the uh, scroll bar you're going to see we have this light green patch you notice that we have this legend here uh, showing the various colors that represent the types of recordings that have happened along that timeline in this case this is a manual recording that was uh, done from about quarter after uh, 1400 hours so it would be about quarter after two to about quarter after three. Uh, and we're placed right at the beginning of this recorded segment. We can go right ahead here and play, select play. And we're gonna see our scene here. Um, and the red safe we're interested in is this one right here in the middle. Um, we're gonna look along here and see. We can drag this scroll bar to any point uh, in, the, uh, in our video segment so that we can go quickly to where the red safe was taken. We're just gonna advance this up here a little bit. And we're looking for when that red safe disappears. Uh, once we see that, we're going to back up a little bit. Oh, see, it's been obscured, but it's still there. Advance a little bit farther. And let's see here. Oh, it's gone away. So we're going to back up a little bit until we can see it. We can see it there. Now, from this point, we're going to go over to the scissor icon here, and this is where we're going to start our video clip from. We're going to select Start Clipping. And we're just going to let it continue to record this particular segment of the video. Uh, until we've captured what we're looking for, which is when the uh, red safe is taken. We see a gentleman come in here. Oh, he takes the safe and off he goes. I'm going to leave it a couple of seconds here. And then we're going to select stop clipping. And this is going to save that clip. Remember that directory that we were looking at earlier? And that's where we're going to find that video clip. So we've got the video that we're, clip that we were looking for. We're going to go ahead and hit stop here. And we're going to go and open up the uh, directory where that video clip was stored to. As we recall back here in configuration, the video clip is going to be stored right in this directory. So I'm just going to go ahead over here and, and open that up. So we have the directory here open. And here's the video clip that we've, uh, that we've captured. I'm going to right click on that. We're going to open that up. Oop, uh, and our player just popped open in another window here. Just bring the player back over here. Now sometimes when you go and select directly to play from the video file uh, a bit of a glitch here the player doesn't always just start playing so we might have to go down here to this little icon where it says open file we're going to open that up and uh, from here we can select the video file that we're looking for just double click on that and it will open up into, uh, into our full sized view here and we can see it advancing along the timeline here we can see our red safe uh, there's the gentleman that's come in and removed it, and off he goes. So this is uh, is the clip that we're looking for, and this is the one that we could then send the police, etc. So from this point, you can take that video, 
and copy it down onto a flash drive. Now one thing to bear in mind is that uh, you'll notice that the uh, video playback uh, software we're using is different than say Windows Media Player. Most of the computer playback software won't be able to play this video file back. You'll need to use the True Visions uh, video file which again under that playback window we'll see is right here where it says player download. So from here we can click on player download and we can select save as and we can pick a point uh, where we can save it um, directly onto the hard drive. In this case uh, we'll just save it right onto the desktop here. Um, and we just select desktop, it'll come in as a player compressed file. We select save uh, and then we're going to go ahead and open it up. And from here we're going to select extract the files. We're going to extract it right onto the desktop. And, uh, and now the player file will, will be undone. We can just go right into here. We can double click the player, select run. And that's what opens up this little window box that we have here. And again, down in the bottom right corner, we can select open file and select the video that we want to play back. And we'll just see that pop open here. And we'll just make that full screen. Again, you can see the scroll bar here advancing along uh, with our time frame. And see the gentleman come in and remove the uh, safe and off he goes and this is the clip of interest that we're looking for and so we would go ahead now and we would uh, close the player uh, and uh, we have the video fire file captured and with that file we can turn around then and place it down onto a onto a flash drive also to be sure to copy where we downloaded that player from should include that on the USB stick as well so that if you are giving this over to the police they have the video player right with the video file that they need in order to view the video uh, so that uh, they can see that and that concludes our quick little run through on how to retrieve and archive video footage from a TVN uh, 10 uh, NVR is more compatible with most of the uh, TrueVision NVRs and, uh, and getting them ready to be used for uh, review.